So today we're going to be talking about dive mass. Um, a lot of people have some great misconceptions about it, myself included. Um, I, I'm older now and I've been diving for a few years and I noticed that I could no longer see the small stuff so I decided it was time for a prescription mask. So I went to Divers World here in Grand Cayman and um, they actually are able to fit you for it. So I was properly fitted, I had the great thing, was, I was quite excited, I can actually see, now I can, when I take pictures, I can actually see the small details. So it was quite exciting. So on the first dive, it was great, I had no problems with my mask whatsoever. Um, second dive, and for the next eight dives, I noticed that um, it leaked. It didn't really matter what I did. Um, if I turned my head one way, up, down. The only time it didn't was when I was looking straight on something. So needless to say, I was getting quite discouraged because I now have a, a mask that I can actually see with. However, um, it's the wrong one. So I was really quite, quite upset about it because I thought, oh no, here we go again. Um, had dive friends turn around, they looked at it and they thought, I got these laugh lines, age spots. And um, so perhaps the problem was I was getting some water in there and what can you do about that? So I went back to Diver's World and I asked him if he could, you know, maybe fit me for another mask because obviously there was something wrong with this one. So he says, well, let me see how it looks on you first. So I put it on and he goes, well, I can tell you right now, um, it's too tight. And I said to him, I said, well, you know, if I put it in, any, I've tried everything. I tightened it, I loosened it, I did everything. And it didn't seem to matter. It, the water was in. It was to the point that when I went diving, I couldn't move my face at all. If I saw something exciting, I couldn't smile. It was like a flat effect. I don't care, right? So, um, yeah, so it wasn't quite working for me. So we went over and we checked out other masks and I tried them on. I thought, well, what am I, how do I know, right? So anyway, he said, you know, I got to be honest with you. I think the one that you have right now is, it, it's the perfect fitting mask for you. So he says, you know, just loosen it up, try one more dive, come back if it doesn't work. So um, I thought, okay, what have I got to lose, right? So um, basically, before it was really tight. So got it on here, and I'll show you just how loose it really is. I mean, it's literally, there's really nothing holding it on there, right? Um, nothing. And he also suggested bringing it lower because of... So here you look at it and you would think, well, that doesn't look like a proper, you know, way to wear the, the mask. You know, it's loose. What's stopping it? But I got to tell you, um, you know, short of, you know, making sure that when you do the giant stride that you've got your hands in place um, so you don't lose the mask. But I've gone on three or four dives since and not one ounce of problem. Um, no water, I can put my head down, up, sideways, you name it, not an ounce of water in there. So um, what did I learn from this is contrary to belief, and I'm sure many of us feel that the mask actually has to be tight. Um, I don't know how it stays in place. I really don't have any idea. But the truth is, you know, loose as you saw there, that that's actually the best way to wear it. Um, because before, even when it was tight, I found that, you know, the tighter I went, more pressure it put on. Um, every time I equalized water got in, it got to the point I didn't even want to equalize, um, which of course is not something that we want to do. With this one here now, loose as it was, it stayed in place. I could equalize as many times as I want, not even any problems whatsoever. And I could fit it, you know, if it was here, it was a problem, I put it down. So there you go. Um, so what did I learn? It doesn't matter how many dives you have, you are still learning. Um, and I just thought I would want to share this with you guys, because I'm sure I'm not the only one having problems with mass fitting. So have a great day. Thanks for joining me.